Homer Sooner, everybody. The Sooners got a double dip on the road last week. Now they'll get a double dip at home. Playing the top-ranked Baylor Bears in their annual Play for K pinkout game. And then they'll play Iowa State. And both games will be played in Norman. And uh, if you're heading to the one tomorrow night on Big Monday to get the national brand out there, remember we beat them last year in Norman, so it's not impossible to beat the Baylor Bears. Sooners have done it before. But if they're going to try to do it again, they're going to they're try to do it again. And when they do, if you're going to go to that game, remember to wear your pink shirt from either last year or go buy one. Find out what I mean when we return. Boomer Sooner 1982, we'll be right back. Don't move. Alright everybody, welcome back to the show and thanks for sticking around. My name's Harry James. The Oklahoma Sooners, the play for K game, is when they put all the pink shirts out on the seats, kind of like what they do on the whiteouts for the men's side, that won't happen tomorrow night if you're heading to the game in Norman. So if you don't already have a pink shirt, don't guide yourself a pink shirt. We want to get that place as pinked out as we can, even though the pink shirts won't be on the back of the seats. Why? Because every single dime this year, every dime, instead of going, uh, instead of some going to the, to the uh, seats, to the t-shirts that will be on the back of the seats, all the proceeds this year will both, will go to the Play 4K Foundation, set up uh, on the women's side for uh, breast cancer awareness. So, uh, they will also be taking donations at the ball game, so be looking for that. But if you're going to be at a ball game, you have to know who you're going to be playing, right? Well, they're going to be playing the Baylor Bears. The Baylor Bears that last year went 33 and 4, 16 and 2 in Big 12 league play, and they won the division last year. They won the conference, I'm sorry, last year. Yeah. Uh, their, third uh, their third loss came to Oklahoma in the non-call, in the conference. Uh, but their final loss came to Notre Dame, 77-68, in the Elite Eight game in the women's NCAA tournament. The Baylor Bears are head coached by Kim Mulkey who is a 84 grad from Louisiana Tech and has been at Baylor since 2000, with this being her only job. Leading returning scorers for the Baylor Bears, number 13, Nina Davis, and uh, number 55, Kehanje Cave. Starting with number 13, Nina Davis. Nina Davis last year averaged 21.05 points per ball game last year for the Bears. We're averaging 8.32 rebounds per ball game and a buck .62 assists per ball game last year for the Bears. Well, the scary Baylor Bears also have number 55, Kiahanje Cave, who averaged 9.32 points per ball game last year for the Bears, while averaging 4.60 rebounds per ball game and 0.43 assists per ball game last year for the B A Y L O R Bears. The Sooners then will play the Iowa State Cyclones that finished 24-11, finished with an even 9-9 record last year in uh, Big 12 league, pay, league play to finish third in the conference. They lost to Dayton 66-58 in the first round of the Women's NCAA Tournament. They are head coached by Bill Finley. 
who is a, a Wayland Baptist graduate from 1995 and has also been the head coach at uh, Toledo. He was out there from 88 to 94. And then uh, from 95 to present, he's been at Iowa State. The leading returning uh, stars to watch out for for Iowa State, number 12, Sienna Johnson, and number 11, Jada Buckley. First of all, number 12, Sienna Johnson. Sienna Johnson averaged 10.23 points per ball game last year for the Iowa State Cyclones, while circling up 8.07 rebounds per ball game and a buck point thirty nine assists per ball game last year for the Cyclones. While number 11, Jada Buckley, averaged 9.44 points per ball game last year for the Oklahoma Sooners, while averaging 2.78 rebounds per ball game and 2.33 assists per ball game last year for Iowa State. And finally, the Oklahoma Sooners. How can you do an OU preview without covering OU, right? Well, you can't. Oklahoma finished with an, a 21-12 uh, and 12 record last year, finished second in the conference with a 13-5 overall record, lost to Stanford 86-76 in the second round of the Women's NCAA Tournament. They are head coached by Sherry Cole, who is a 1987 grad of Oklahoma Christian University and has been in Oklahoma since 1996. Holding down the ponies, Boomer and Sooner are uh, number 10, uh, uh, at least on the uh, players to watch out for board. Number 10, Peyton Little, and number 42, Kaylon Williams. We'll start with number 10, Peyton Little, who averaged last year 12.64 points per ball game last year for the Sooners, while averaging 8.32 rebounds per ball game and a buck point six two assists per ball game last year for the Big 12 Newcomer of the Year, number 10, Peyton Little. While the other leading returning scorer was, of course, as we all know, number 42, Kaylon Williams, who will be playing in her final home game against Iowa State. She averaged last year 12.19 points per ball game last year for the Sooners, while averaging 6.63 rebounds per ball game and 1.31 assists per ball game last year for the Oklahoma Sooners. All right, guys, remember, if you don't have the pink T-shirt already and you're going to the game tomorrow night, go ahead and pick one up. We want to pink out the stadium, but the thing to remember is the Oklahoma University of Oklahoma will not distribute those pink shirts onto the back of the seats as they have in the Play for K game in the past. All right, guys, thanks for watching. My name's Harry James. You can find me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or tweet me at Sooner underscore fan underscore OK. Thanks for watching, everybody. And um, I guess, as always, Boomer Sooner, everybody. Take care. I'm outie.